Hey Jim, it's Julian. Uh, I'm fighting the wind out here, so hopefully you can hear me pretty well. Uh, this is that Denali I was talking about. It's a GMC Yukon Denali uh, XL2. So, I mean, you're gonna have tons of cargo space in this thing. Super clean on the outside too. I don't see a scratch on this thing anywhere. So, I mean, clearly the people that owned it uh, took great care of it. So, looking really stylish. Um, like I said, very clean on the outside. And then uh, in the rear here, you're gonna like this. We've got plenty of cargo area. Um, even with like the third row up, you still have a ton of cargo room back here. And then just to put the third row down, all you have to do is use these buttons right here. And then they go right down. They fold nice and flat. As you can see, um, we've got captain's chairs in the second row too, but also fold um, very flat. Okay. Not bench seating, but any uh, any people sitting in the back seat will definitely appreciate the quality of these seats here, as well as the, the armrests that have been added in, as well as the speakers that are gonna be coming out of the back of the seat here too, for a nice audio experience. And uh, also gonna be heated in the second row as well. Um, this thing has a really nice interior too, Jim. I think you'll like this, man. Um, definitely looks you know very classy. You got the wood green, um, nice leather trim all the way around. Looking real nice. All right, and here's what the display looks like. Uh, it does have a lot of the nice safety features on it too that a lot of the newer vehicles have. So you have like pre-collision braking here, um, lane keep assist, uh, rear parking sensors. Um, so a lot of fun things to play with on this one, man. It's a nice car. Um, and I think it would fit you really well, especially if you know you need something that's gonna fold pretty flat in the back and have plenty of room for stuff and uh, be able to tow and still be luxurious. Um, I think this would be a good choice for you, man. So uh, we're asking, I think, 47.5 for this one. And uh, it's got 32,000 miles on it, so low miles. Um, definitely a nice car, man. So let me know what you think, Jim.